The warning from the CDC, the coronavirus is spreading so quickly around the globe, it may only be a matter of time before it begins rolling across the U.S. with the potential to become a pandemic. We are closing out a week that has seen more new COVID cases in America than in any week since the pandemic began. Today I'm announcing action to help New York, California and Washington ensure that the National Guard can effectively respond to this crisis. As the number of cases in the U.S. jumped again overnight to at least 102,000 with 1,600 deaths now. State officials have the St. Louis County case total significantly higher at 173. Back in March, we received news that the university was going to essentially shut down the campus, uh, which means we had to move everything online. Um, and this is in the middle of our season, nearing playoffs. So it was a pretty hectic time. Everyone had to move online, I mean, move out of campus, move your computer, move all your stuff. So back in March, when the school started shutting down and the campus was closing, we started moving everything um, online and moved all of our practice from our esports facility into our rooms. And that was, uh, that was pretty tough for me personally, because like one of the things that I love is like, being able to be around my teammates and like if someone makes a good play like going up to them and like shaking them after the game and like be like good job bro or just like yeah it's like that's part of like a team environment so uh, not having that definitely um, takes a it's a mental hit for sure. We really were just trying to transition back into online uh, practice and schooling just trying to keep everyone positive and, you know, remind everyone that this is bigger than ourselves and we just gotta, you know, we just gotta push forward. Some stuff's gonna happen that's not gonna be optimal, but, you know, we just gotta accept that and, uh, you know, keep frustration to a minimum and just push forward and, uh, you know, hopefully get something productive out of it. Well, Reinhardt's just waiting around that corner because Harrisburg, They've got the ultimates that can finish this game door. They've got that blizzard. They've got the blade. Panic with this immortality build has to be on point right now. Well, it's got to be big. It's Tom Barry, though, is going to save them yet again. Cyrus with the blade now. It's his turn to clean up. Slicing his way on through to what might just be the grand finals victory. Harrisburg are staring at the yellow box. That leads to their 3 0, their redemption, and their revenge up against Maryville. Oh, Maryville, Cameron onto the Hammond Horfink. So close that list, it's the one thing Maryville can use to immediately get the fight in. But you swap! Oh no, Aeth has wanted a widow, and now you just need to buy yourself time because no one's able to survive long enough, though. Oh, and they don't get the touch either. Maryville go out just how the maps started today, unable to touch the cart. Harrisville take the day, take the grand finals, and take away Tespa 3 to 0. The season played out really good from the start. Um, the switch to online was a little hectic. It was a long year for us. We had our issues. Um, and I think at the end, you know, we lost the final match. Um, it was kind of a heartbreaker after winning the whole year in collegiate. We were undefeated in collegiate. And then, you know, we just couldn't pull it off when it mattered. So it was kind of hard for us, kind of hard for the guys. And, you know, when something like that happens, you just gotta take it as a learning experience. Playing a national championship online compared to like what it would have been in person was, I mean, it, it, there's obviously like a big difference between like being with each other in person and being over the internet. And I think that we would have performed a lot better if we were, to, if we were in person together. Um, obviously that couldn't be helped with what's going on, but just this coming semester and the next, we're just looking to refocus since we now have the ability to get back together again and hash out previous issues and stuff like that. Live. Max threatening the flank. He is at the mouth fight. He can jump in on the value if need be. Fall banning healing up so much. There's the oh, engage he under the turret. Nile taken out of the fight immediately. Watch for the carries. Watch for value. It's all on Aphelios. He's taking so much damage from Yon. Oh, He's taking no. out. That's a double kill for Fallen Bandit. This is going to be it, Coco. 100 Thieves next. 100 Thieves the dream. They're taking down Maryville University. They lose their mid laner to an emergency substitution. They struggle in game one, but they fight back at 100 Thieves.
are going to scouting grounds in November. Well played to the team. Yeah, so after CLO was canceled, uh, I was super bummed out, but I uh, definitely got to look forward to the scouting ground circuit over the summer and um, got really close with the, the guys that I played with because it's a lot different when you're competing on a, a, higher, a higher level. You know, collegiate, the competition that you have, or at least like as Maryville, we aren't challenged as much as we are on like an amateur circuit. So it was really nice to be able to be challenged every day in our matches and getting third place. Um, I definitely would consider the summer a success overall. Definitely would have liked to get top two, but um, growing with my teammates, just that, that was worth it no matter what we placed. Um, we got a lot closer as a team, so I'm thankful for that. See, this is so much easier. This is so much easier. All right, Canada. Uh, it's probably like one of the first ones. Yeah. Hi, I'm John Tinkatinka and I'm the top laner from Maryville University. So I picked Maryville because I wanted to go to a program that was prestigious in its esports program and I wanted to have the freedom to do what I want and pick my spontaneous picks in the top lane. This year with the roster we ended up having a spot available for top um, so we were running some tryouts. Um, we're looking for someone who is versatile and flexible. You know, someone with a high level of energy that uh, is like actively looking to contribute. Uh, John Dinka, like he really stood out as a, as one of those people. And, you know, I was pretty pleasantly surprised. Um, he's somebody that kind of seemed like he flipped a switch and really wants it. Okay, first attempt. Okay. Wait, I gotta get a little bit of everything. Okay. Did you get queso too? Gotta get that closer. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Um, during the trial process, I was watching a lot and I was helping a lot and um, I thought Dinka was by far the best top laner that was trying out. Um, just listening to him in game and seeing the variety of champions that he could like pilot efficiently, I, I knew that he would be a good top laner to bring in. Um, so um, I think that having him under me definitely motivates me to just be, be on top of my game because um, he is definitely someone that um, can compete with me. So just looking forward to having that competition and that, that motivation. Um, I think it's the best part about bringing Nika on this semester. Stuff in the backs. Sophisticated look. We're gonna have to throw Great. stuff in the back seat. <laughs> Introduce yourself, so uh, first, so, last name, and, and what your role is here. All right, so I'm uh, Zach Ice-Tews, and uh, I'm a hit scan player from Maryville. I decided to come to Maryville because uh, I really like the location, honestly. And, uh, you know, I turned 18, I was thinking, like, I could take a year off and try to go pro, or I could, like, get an education. And I decided, like, I really like the education part of it, so that's, like, a big reason I came here. Yeah, so during the summer, we had a little bit of a... Uh... Uh, kind of close tryouts. Um, we brought in Iced, Zach, uh, for a tryout. Uh, I immediately liked him. Um, I think over the past two years we've had an Overwatch program. The players have been through a lot. Overwatch itself has been kind of through a lot. It had a, definitely a rocky year for Overwatch. Um, and I really wanted someone who was still in love with the game. That he was young, come out of high school, 
he's obviously good, he's talented, but to me, he just, he was vocal. He was vocal about his interest in the game, how he wanted to play, and that's what stood out to me. I think my goal here is to uh, learn about collegiate as much as possible, because it really interests me. I think it's kind of the future of esports. So I just want to get to know collegiate, get my degree, and then maybe work in collegiate one day. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We have arrived at the last weekend of the UCLA Esports Summer Invitational. We've got the League of Legends portion ready and rocking for you today. So UCLA Invitational was hosted, I believe they partnered with EG uh, and Razor. And they did like a cool, like I think it was 16 team online um, tournament over the weekend, just kind of first week back in classes. and. Uh, you know, gave everyone an opportunity to just kind of get together and see where everyone's starting points at. And uh, yeah, it was a fun weekend. Up there as well, but Value, look at it, take a 2v3 on the bottom no! side. You, Value, are you gonna do it? Mike, this man on the ash, he's gonna flash forward. That is a triple kill for Value in the bot lane. Yeah, they, they really want to take them to that, but I oh, think no, Iconic is taking a 2v1. Oh, oh, watch how Heap is going to secure the kill and pick up I another can. one. I can't As watch. As kill goes into Iconic, he's looking for more. I'll get I can't watch. Up. I can't one watch. One more kill for the bag. As it's going to be Maryville asserting yeah. their dominance in this game. 38-3 to as they make their trudge to the top of the mountain in this Invitational Tournament. Here comes the Heroic Entrance. Does get the double knockup. The damage is there. Here comes Shan Wow in the middle of everything. Now TP coming oh in. Oh my the lord! <laughs> Holy cow, Value! You are a beast on this champion. He is just laying waste to the enemy team here. He picks up a triple kill. And it is all Maryville. As it's going to be Maryville. Look in this ticket. You have one more chance of a defense. Can they make it happen? One member goes down. They are getting dropped, though. And Niles is finally in the fight. Mexican Thunder Wait. getting low. But that's a. Although Karthus underneath is doing a lot of damage. <laughs> it doesn't shady. Arden is taken out. And the final shots come through. Maryville, book it to the grand final. So Saturday um, was mostly just like, I think it was like all the games except for one series. Um, so a bit of a long day, you know, but um, we had seating advantage. So the games were pretty light, you know, throughout Saturday. Um, you know, just had a lot of fun on Saturday. And, you know, we got through all of our games, ended up in, in winner's finals. Well, championship Sunday, watching which fool wants to get smacked, the best of five. I don't even know if there's a prize for second place in this tournament, but I guess they're just playing for the privilege to get beat by us 3-0. I don't know. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it to the final series of this UCLA Esports Invitational for this summer tourney. We are with Maryville and ASU after ASU made the climb from the loser's bracket all the way to meet the top dogs here in the final. It did connect on the dragon, but it doesn't matter. Maryville secure their first dragon. Of the game. Fire theft right into the back line. You have a lot of AOE here. Maryville don't know what to do and they're getting dropped here, but Cat on the Roof is right in the middle of it all. Niles in the background and the fight's going all. Maryville here, pseudo falls. They're going over the wall and that's Niles picking up more kills, getting a shutdown on the K and Banco is going to go down as well. The shotgun shot comes through, and the Dabu Penguin puts the cherry on top. He's going to buy some time, but the focus is on the kills here for Maryville. Value just slowly taking away the towers, but they want KDA, they want the gold, and they want the mental victory here in game number one. They say, yes, you brought us close, but it close is no cigar, and they will take game number one after completely just demolishing ASU in their nexus. They could just secure two inhibs here oh, and make it that though. much harder, but Fire Theft over commits here. Be he careful. doesn't land the Vanguard's Edge. The damage is there. He gets one more stun. The, the, healing. Healing. the healing! 
Fire Theft doesn't get it in the base, no though. Niles no is maybe ending the game here. They are trying to stop the back. They're they need to get into back. the jungle. If they and can they stop don't... the thresh backs, they're doing it. They're Niles doing it. Shady wins. is there. Niles is committing in the top side. You have to grab on two snoops. They don't have the damage. No, Wolfie trying to chase it down. Niles still hitting those Nexus Towers. You have some members Help, we're coming spotting. in. Bako in 10 seconds. Can they just end the game? The ace in the hole isn't going to connect either. They and they back. just want it. This could be it. Maryville no aren't going to take it. Bako did back. He's alive. It doesn't matter. Maryville, after everything that we said, after everything that we built up, they show why they were in the finals. And they take it 2-0 and put it up to game point. Like <laughs> This is just He's got to be at four stacks by now, right? I, I oh, feel like he is. That was his third. Oh, okay. oh, oh Fire Step takes two turret shots. That's a lot, Ornhorn there. He's going to use the Vanguard's edge. Oh, and we're no. oh. Niles turning oh, oh, on oh, me. Oh, Shockwave in the mid lane. Everything falling down here. Two to two yeah, now. No. It's the last hope of ASU going down the drain <laughs> as the last auto attacks come through in Maryville. Win this tournament without dropping a single game. Kangas, Maryville are the UCLA Esports Summer Invitational Champions. Two minutes, two minutes later than expected, but. Yay! <laughs> I'm trying to get a picture. It's like 30 seconds. Oh, it's like we're winning a tournament. <laughs> yeah, so um, the UCLA tournament was fun because we went undefeated. And so uh, one thing that I always like is kind of like having a target on our backs. So like that was the first collegiate um, event of the, of the year starting um, from the fall semester. So we went undefeated in that and had pretty much just one close game. And so after winning that, it's nice to be able to like um, have that target on our backs because we know that people are going to be coming after us. So um, after that run, um, just looking to, you know, keep that target on our backs and everyone's chasing us and uh, just stay at the top. That's my, that's my goal after that tournament, so. A uh, couple, couple tougher opponents can do us. You know, we're, we're missing out on like Harrisburg, GPU, those sorts of guys. So, you know, as long as we have a couple good weeks of practice, we should repeat last year's key results. So. We got uh, the win. It's all nice, right? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get them lunch. Stop looking at me like that. Coming up in the near future is Hue Fest. And we're just trying to go back to back for Overwatch, back to back to back. Um, Harrisburg is definitely one of our rivals and um, we love to compete this tournament. I think it's a good tournament that they put on. And um, we've had a lot of success there. So all we're trying to do is continue that. So Hue Fest is definitely going to be fun. This is my first time playing collegiate. I've been in university before, but I never actually played collegiate. So it's going to be fun versing my friends and my old teammates who are currently in collegiate and just uh, brawling out. And even though it's online, I still want to be competitive and like get the most of, out of my experience. Speaking for myself, I'm excited that everything's getting underway. Um, I, think, I think this will be the year that we were expecting last year. Uh, league's going to have its season. Overwatch is going to bounce back, and we're expecting two victories in two departments. We expect to be the most dominant program in the country and the most dominant program anyone's ever seen in the collegiate, the collegiate scene. That'll be us.